Hello and welcome to another video from Flaming Spider Cyclone. Today we're going to remove the alternator from the 2003 Mazda Tribute. This should be similar for the 2001 to 2004, as well as the Ford Escape 2001 to 2004. They all have the same alternator. Putting the alternator back in should basically be the reverse. And if this video helped you out, please leave a like. Alright, before we start, you'll need to jack up the front of the car. Be sure to block the back tires. You also need to take the passenger side tire off. Make sure you disconnect the battery whenever you're working on anything with electrical connectors. This bolt right here is a 32 millimeter, and you need to break this loose with the breaker bar. And have somebody holding the brake if you can't get it to move. After you have it loose, you can just use the uh, ratchet, a regular ratchet, uh, not a breaker bar, so you can get this that faster. This should come out. Do the Carter pan. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da 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 it's not coming out. one side so the other side will come out. If you have needle nose you should be able just to stick it in there. This castle nut down here is 18. And this is what you gotta take off to get the steering arm off. And then you're gonna punch yourself in the face if you're not being careful. should just come loose pretty easily. Then you have your crown. To get this piece off, you can just hit it with a ball peen hammer on the metal right here. Don't hit the rubber, that will mess it up. Just a couple of taps should make it come loose. Then you just get a board, then stick it underneath, that's the easiest way to do it. And then just smack it, because you don't want to hit the bolt directly, because that will round it out and you won't be able to screw the nut on. So the wood will be enough padding to knock it up out of there. Now that's out of the way, because you need that to be out of the way to get to the alternator. Otherwise you would be really irritated. There it is, peek -a -boo. this one off just so you don't break this wall, this line when you're when you take the other step off this bolt comes out it's part of the brake system then you just move it back and forth then all you have to do is just twist it out then it'll come out then you can just set that out of the way now when you're gonna get this out of the way it's going to be really irritating if it's in the way when we're trying to do stuff. There are 18 millimeter on the back. You don't have to undo the bolts inside of here because you just need to take these out. There's one on the top and one on the bottom. It's just the 18 millimeter. Now it's going to be a little bit of effort to break them loose. Once you break them loose, usually they'll be able to be loosened with just your fingers. At least the first one. 
Then after you loosen it up a bit, it should come straight out. And then the top one can come out too. And then this will be loose on the plate. Now you should be able to get right in here with the back brake pad and just push it in a little bit. And then that will loosen this up a little bit. Just enough to get it on the actual brake shoe. And that should be enough to actually get it off. That way you just got it off without having to mess with the brake pads. But you have to line that back up correctly. Now what you're going to want to do, so this won't hang from the brake line, is hook this up here. Just tie it up here to the spring up here and it should be okay. Ugh. You can use bailing wire or whatever you happen to have handy. Hangers work too. Hangers are a little bit stiffer, but they'll work eventually. Probably over here. These bolts right here are 18 millimeter on both sides. And to get these loose, you just need to have one ratchet on this side to loosen, and then you have another one to hold it. This is what I got to do it with right now. But you don't need to turn this side, you just need to hold it. So you just push this one, and then that will break this nut loose. And you can take the nut right off. And then do the same thing for the bottom. That one's a little bit tighter though. Now to get these out, all you gotta do is just push this forward a little bit. Then you can push on the bolt. Then that will fly out. Make sure you know where it landed. And then the bottom one is the same way. Just use a screwdriver that can fit through the hole. And then this comes out of this. Then you can pull this over to get ready to take this out. All right, we're gonna need to take this cover off. Well, for starters, most of the time there's a bolt. Right there, and this one. And then there's this one right here, and this one right here, and I'm missing a couple, but there's usually one here, and then there's another one right there, and then down at the end of this piece right there, and those are going to be the only things holding it up, and in case you're wondering what it's called, it's called a shroud. The Silver Shroud! No, just a gray one. With all the bolts out, it'll just fall down. And then, what you're able to do next is get to these bolts back here. These ones right here. So then, for that, we're gonna need the Ridiculously Long Extension. It's a 13 millimeter here on this brace. This bolt right here needs to come out. And then there's another one on the left side. Ow! Why are you recording my face right now? Take it, boo boo! And then be sure to put your finger on it so you don't lose a nut. 
And then you should be able to reach around the side this way. Hold this over a little bit so you can get over to that side. Then you can break this loose and try to hold this over so that way you can get that off. That's another reason why this had to be loose. So you can get to this nut right here. Sometimes it's easier just to use the extension without the ratchet on it to get it off. So then this piece right here, it comes off so it's loose in there. Now the next thing you need to do, there's a couple ways you can do it. For the way I'm gonna do it, make sure you have a drain pan handy. And then put it underneath the car before you start prying on this bar right here because transmission fluid may come out. Okay, underneath the car, just so you can see it, right here is the transmission line that you have to take out so you can get to the alternator because if you don't take this out, the alternator is just going to be sitting inside there because the only way it can come out is through the space that this is at. So this should come out when you pull it from this side. Make sure that this is loose right here first. Then this should be able to move. So just pull this in and then it will come out. That's when stuff's gonna start dripping out. And that's okay. You just need to be able to get this out of there now. I put the bolt back in here right now just to hold it up. That way I can press against the, the piece right here, the bolt. Or you could call it the stud. And then just smack it with that. And then that loosens it up. Make sure you don't hit it directly with the hammer. And then you can just pull this back out again. And you get that out. And then it should pry out. So this needs to go, if you hit it enough times it should be able to move if you just push it with your hand a little bit. And be able to pull it up. But it's not because it's being rude. This is the part where you have to up with your own solutions. John Cena defeats Hulk Hogan for the final time. Once you get that done, this should just be able to pull out. And then it will start draining into your pan. Make sure your pan's in the right spot.
If you can, do the rest of this part as quickly as you can. But it's probably not gonna end up that way. Put this back up just so it doesn't mess up the fitting down here from being laying down too long. Cause this fitting can crack if you don't take care of it. Now, underneath here, there's this pulley right here. It's got a square right here in it right here. You put a ratchet in here to loosen the belt. And make the ratchet to loosen. And then you pull this and then pull the belt off. You pull it like this. And then pull it off of one of these bottom parts. And then uh, let go without it smashing your fingers. Because the fingers can get smashed. And you can pull this ratchet out so you don't forget about it. The alternator is right here, so you can take the belt off of it. Just like fold it around it a little bit. Then you can get that off. Yes, that looks like a new alternator. It was a refurbished one and it did not work for us. There's the alternator. And this is a really awkward angle to try to put a camera. Right here, this rubber thing underneath that is a wire terminal that you need to remove from this. And there's a stud right here, or a bolt. Hopefully you have the bolt because the stud is so irritating. And there is another connector right here. You just have to undo the clip right here and then pull it out. On the alternator, there's this plastic cover. And then right here, there's nuts that you can take off. It might be a seven or an eight, depending on your car. It's an eight millimeter on here. After you get the, the nut or the bolt, whatever's on yours, off of the cover, you can just push the cover up into here because you're gonna need that out of the way. Like around there, because it should just stay up there. And then you can get to the clip right here. With the screwdriver that I don't seem to have next to me right now. Oh, no, I got one. Okay, so right here, there's a clip. And now you can fit the screwdriver under there now that the cover's out of the way. Just pull it out, and it'll pop out. Now I'm gonna need a 10 millimeter for the other terminal. Ugh. I just put the ratchet up here. It's a 10 millimeter right here. It might work a lot better if you had a quarter inch socket, but this is what I got with next to me right now. And, and there's enough space up here, it should be fine. So then there's the nut comes out. And then the nut pulls off. The bottom two bolts right here are 15 millimeters and you can use a short socket or you can use a ridiculously long extension and swivel socket. But if you are precise with your spacing, you can break them loose enough to take them out with this setup. And then these just come out pretty easily. But before you take those out, make sure you break loose the top bolts, which is a stupid stud in mine. Hopefully it's a bolt for you though. So you're gonna need a long extension if you have a stud on here and not a bolt. Then you can take it out that way. And if you're lucky, the stud will come out with it. But I don't really trust it to do that for me. So I'm gonna break loose the stud first with a yabada boobada uh, Torx thingy bopper duper, whatever it's called. Joking aside, it's called a reverse Torx. 
and it goes on the end and you just loosen it. If you do this right, you'll get your arm covered in transmission fluid. And then we can loosen it up just a little bit. Ow! Be sure to hit your head on the jack stand because that's the best feeling ever. I'm trying to get this up on there. And it should be able to loosen up a little bit better now and hopefully come out. After you break it loose enough, hold the alternator, and then you should be able to loosen it with your fingers enough to be able to get the stud out. And then throw it away into the garbage and make sure it burns into a pile of ash. And then you can take these bottom bolts out Yeah, just saying, the last time I took the alternator out, that stupid stud was really annoying to me, if you can't already tell. I really hope everybody watching this video actually just has a bolt and not the stupid stud. They're pretty long bolts. The last one's gonna be pretty difficult because all the weight of the alternator is pushing on one bolt. I don't like on for 40 years! There, it's out. So then, turn it sideways this way. this then you got it out this is the alternator looks brand new don't it <laughs> that's what they all said but this one didn't work thank, thank you, you for watching. watching well it was a bit of a struggle there but we got the alternator out well, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like. Any comments or questions, leave them down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And thank you for all those who have gotten me to over 170 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Until next time, thanks for watching.